from the campus of Middle Tennessee State University. This is the ninth annual Raiders Choice Awards presented by Ascend Federal Credit Union. Now, here's your host, Chip Walters. Thanks very much and good evening. I'm Chip Walters of the Blue Raider Network and I'm really happy to be back with you this year for a very special edition of the Raiders Choice Awards. Well, there's no doubt that this has been the most unusual school year, sports year, and life year for any of us. You know, while we're not together in Tucker Theater, we are here at the Kennan Hall of Fame building. Emmett and Rose Kennan were great benefactors to our university, and they helped us build this building. And their goal was in this building to help us bring Blue Raiders together. And that's what we're doing tonight. You might not be here in person, but you are here digitally and virtually. So we're gonna have fun tonight and have a good time as we honor our Blue Raider athletes for their accomplishments academically and athletically. You know, each year we spend the evening of study day celebrating you because it's your night, no doubt about it. And I can't think of a better way to end the semester, but this year we'll have to do it just a little differently, the same way that you've been receiving your classes remotely. We're doing it here at the Kennan Hall of Fame building. You know, while we might miss the in-person cheers that you normally get over at the Tucker Theater, we can still do it all digitally. Just do it on Twitter and Facebook. Use the hashtag RCA2020. That's RCA2020. If you're having a viewing party, let us know about it. If you're dressed up tonight, we want to see it. And you know, if you want to give somebody else credit, use that hashtag RCA2020, Raiders Choice Awards for 2020. Tonight, many of you will be recognized for your accomplishments. So enjoy the moment, have a good time, have fun with it tonight because yeah, it is different than we've normally had. So we're all in this digital Blue Raider Nation together tonight, and we hope that you have a good time here at the Raiders Choice Awards. We're happy to also thank some very special people who've made tonight possible. The executive team at the university, well, they've been challenged like never before, and they've done a great job of meeting those challenges head on. So thanks to our president, Dr. Sidney A. McPhee, his wife, Liz, they're our number one Blue Raider fans, and to all of our university leadership team, from the vice presidents, to the deans, to the department chairs, all the way down, everybody, our professors, and all of our university staff. Also our board of trustees, they've continued to provide a great vision for our future here at Middle Tennessee. You know, the Blue Raider Athletic Department is also led by Director of Athletics, Chris Massaro. That includes a very committed group of coaches and staff members. Their continued efforts have been with one thing in mind, and that's meeting the needs of our student athletes. And to all of you, our staff members and coaches and our university staff members, we say thank you very much and welcome to the ninth annual Raiders Choice Awards. You know, it's time to give our first award of the night. Please welcome our first presenter of the night, David Sells from Tennessee Event Specialist. Good evening. The Newcomer of Year Awards are truly special because this is the first time these student athletes have got to wear the MTSU uniform. Your first year of college can be very challenging, whether it's transferring in from somewhere else or just your first year of college. Several of our Blue Raiders have made a large impact in their first year here at MTSU. Here are the nominees for the Female Newcomer of the Year Award. Female Newcomer of the Year. Kayla Henley was named to the CUSA All-Freshman Team, the first time a Blue Raider volleyball player has received this honor. She played in 90 sets during her freshman campaign, starting 22 matches total. Kayla finished third on the team in kills with 205 and third on the team in blocks with 53. Mercy Chepkarui competed in four out of six meets this season, including the Conference USA Championships, where she finished 11th overall to help the team to a title, and the NCAA South Regional. She recorded a personal best 5K time of 1736.8 and a 6K time of 2104.5 at the Arturo Barrios Invitational, where she finished 18th overall. 
Mackenzie Bonham appeared in all 19 games, making 11 starts in her true freshman campaign. She totaled 981 minutes as a forward and registered her first career goal in a hat trick in an OT win versus UTSA. She ended the season with 11 points, 25 shots, and 16 shots on goal. The Ackworth, Georgia native was named CUSA Offensive Player of the Week and to the CUSA All-Freshman Team. The Conference USA Freshman of the Year, Aislinn Hayes, proved to be one of the league's best rookies ever. Her seven CUSA Freshman of the Week honors were second most in league history and she became the first player ever to win United States Basketball Writers Association National Freshman of the Week honors three times. She was among the league's top 10 in five categories and scored double figures in 23 games, including eight games of 20 plus points. Kaylee Ruschetto led all freshmen in Conference USA and the team in batting average, slugging percentage, and on-base percentage. She appeared in 22 of the 28 games completed in the 2020 season and earned a start in each of the final 20. She was third on the team with five homers and 13 RBI. A Louisville native, Molly Bevelar competed in every event for the Blue Raiders this season, posting a scoring average of 77 with a low round of 68 that ranks as the second best freshman round in Middle Tennessee history and the 16th best by Blue Raiders of any class. In her first season in Middle Tennessee, Esther Issa claimed the gold in the high jump at the CUSA Indoor Championships with a mark of 1.76 meters, and she also placed top 10 in the triple jump. She recorded a personal best of 1.78 meters in the high jump at the Indiana University Relays, where she also placed first. Female Newcomer of the Year and the RCA for Female Newcomer of the Year goes to Aislinn Hayes from Blue Raider Women's Basketball. Congratulations, Aislinn. The Conference USA Freshman of the Year, Aislinn Hayes, proved to be one of the league's best rookies ever. Her seven CUSA Freshman of the Week honors were second most in league history, and she became the first player ever to win United States Basketball Writers Association National Freshman of the Week honors three times. She was among the league's top 10 in five categories and scored double figures in 23 games, including eight games of 20 plus points. So we've got one award in the books tonight. We've got several more to go until we get to our key awards of the night. That is our True Blue President's Award. We'll have those at the end of the show tonight. One thing I've already found, we're a little different tonight. Of course, we're doing this digitally and remotely, but the one thing that hasn't changed is your reaction to my jokes. They're still the same as they were when we were in front of a live audience. So keep that going as well. Hashtag RCA 2020. Our next award is the Male Newcomer of the Year. To make that presentation, please welcome Associate Athletic Director for External Affairs, David Blackburn. Just like our female winner, the Male Newcomer of the Year Award is presented to one male student athlete who has made a major contribution to their sport and team during the first year of competition at MTSU. Here are the nominees for Male Newcomer of the Year. Male Newcomer of the Year. Hillary Camayo competed in all seven meets as a freshman and was named to the all CUSA second team. He posted a career best 8K time of 2347 at the Arturo Barrios Invitational when he finished fifth overall. He took 11th at the CUSA Championships when his team claimed the title and 12th at the NCAA South Regional. An honorable mention all-conference selection, Will Gilchrist started all 12 games and allowed just two sacks all season. He played a major role in the Blue Raiders ending the year as the best rushing team in league play in all of CUSA. Matthias Varjan burst onto the scene as a true freshman for coach Mark McIntyre. Competing in every tournament of his rookie campaign, with 16 of his 17 rounds counting towards the team score. He posted the third best stroke average on the team. Fausto Lopez led the team in hits and batting average through the first month of the season and cemented a spot at the top of the Raider lineup. He started all 17 games for Middle Tennessee at shortstop. 
He led the team with seven steals and was tied for seventh in CUSA with five doubles. During his sophomore season, Willington Wright had 10 top five individual performances and four top five relay finishes with his teammates. At the CUSA championships, he took the bronze in the 400 meter, fourth in the 200, and second in the four by 400 meter relay. C.J. Jones burst onto the scene in his first season on the floor at the Murphy Center, pouring in 16.1 points per game on 43% shooting from the field and 40% from three-point range. The sweet shooting junior also hit 87% of his attempts from the charity strike and entered the program's top six all-time in single-season three-pointers made and free throw percentage. Male Newcomer of the Year. I'm honored to announce that the RCA for Male Newcomer of the Year goes to Fausto Lopez from Blue Raider Baseball. Fausto Lopez led the team in hits and batting average through the first month of the season and cemented a spot at the top of the Raider lineup. He started all 17 games for Middle Tennessee at shortstop. He led the team with seven steals and was tied for seventh in CUSA with five doubles. You know, the highest achievement a student athlete can have athletically is to be named All-American. This year, there were five different Blue Raiders that were named All-American. Let's find out about them now. All-American recognition. Keegan Shimani, 2019 Outdoor Track and Field. First team, 3,000 meter steeplechase. 2019 Outdoor Track and Field. Second team, 5,000 meter. Hanley Long, 2019 Women's Golf. First team, Cosida Academic All-America. James Beckner, 2019 Men's Golf. First team, Cosida Academic All-America. Aislinn Hayes, 2020 Women's Basketball. Her Hoops Freshman Fab 15 All-American. All-American recognition. You know the word student athlete, the first word is student. That means what you do in the classroom is of utmost importance. Throughout the show tonight, we'll have several academic awards to be presented. Right now, we'll start it off by recognizing all of our student athletes who made a 3.0 or more during the 2019 calendar year. Congratulations to all of our 3.0 scholars. You know, the latest craze in social media has been TikTok, and I've got a digital watch. It doesn't even tick, but some of the TikTok videos that you've made this year have made the RCAs.
Thanks to everybody who was brave enough to put in a TikTok video. I guess I need to get TikTok and put my video in for next year. Well, you know, here we are at Middle Tennessee in Murfreesboro. We're at the Kennan Hall of Fame building and literally about a half mile behind me on Old Las Casas Pike is the geographic center of the state. But you know, here we are in the geographic center of Tennessee, but our Blue Raider athletes have a worldwide impact. You know, this year, 11 different championships were claimed by Blue Raider student athletes, whether it were conference championships or national championships. But right now, you're gonna get to meet them all. Individual champions. Abike Ekbeniyi winning the 800 meter at the CUSA Outdoor Championships. Tobio Macedo, winning the 10,000 meter at the CUSA Outdoor Championships. Keegan Shimani, winning the 1500 meter, 3000 meter SC, and 5000 meter at the CUSA Outdoor Championships. Isaac O'Dugbison, winning the shot put at the CUSA Outdoor Championships. Jacob Chogi, winning the CUSA Men's Cross Country Championship. Yusela Chepkame, winning the CUSA Women's Cross Country Championship. Cecilia Francis, claiming gold in the 60 meter dash at the CUSA Indoor Championships. Esther Issa, claiming gold in the high jump at the CUSA Indoor Championships. Brian Rono, winning the 800 meter at the CUSA Indoor Championships. Jacob Chogi, winning both the one mile and 5,000 meter at the CUSA Indoor Championships. Keegan Shimani, winning the 3,000 meter at the CUSA Indoor Championships. Individual champions. Congratulations to all our champions. You know, over the last couple of weeks, you've had an opportunity to vote as a Blue Raider Nation on several of the awards that we're giving away tonight. And it's time for the first of our fan voted awards. The play of the year is presented by Larry Maples, Associate Athletic Director for Equipment and Special Projects. We have some very talented athletes here at Middle Tennessee. So saying amazing plays is no surprise. There was no shortage of great plays for fans to consider for play of the year. Play of the year. Asher O'Hara's diving touchdown versus Michigan. In his first collegiate possession as the starting quarterback and in front of a crowd of over 100,000 at Michigan Stadium, 
Ash at O'Hara marched the Blue Raiders down the field on their opening drive and scored on an 18-yard run. Weaving through traffic, O'Hara dove into the end zone from a few yards out to give the Blue Raiders an early 7-0 lead over the number seven Wolverines. Aislinn Hayes, game-winning three-pointer versus Tulane. Freshman Aislinn Hayes came up big in the clutch early in her freshman season for the Lady Raiders. She knocked down a three-pointer from the top of the key with one second remaining to complete a 16-point comeback in a 64-62 Lady Raider win at Tulane. The play was number two on the NCAA's top plays of the week. Anastasia Hayes doing it on both ends of the court versus WKU. Against rival WKU, sophomore Anastasia Hayes deflected the ball away from a hilltopper defender, dove out of bounds to save it, and then sprinted down the sideline, taking a pass and scoring to finish a great hustle play. It was named the number two play of the week in the NCAA. Cooper Sears sinks it in match play to win CUSA title. Sophomore Cooper Sears sank a 10-foot putt on the 24th hole to secure a 3-2 match play win and second consecutive Conference USA title for the Blue Raiders in Texarkana, Texas. It capped an amazing weekend for Middle Tennessee and first-year head coach Mark McIntyre. Greg Bennett's diving catch versus Alabama. Junior Greg Bennett made a spectacular diving catch to end the third inning against Alabama. Play of the Year. As voted on by Blue Raider Nation, this year's Raiders Choice Award for Play of the Year goes to none other than Greg Bennett from Blue Raider Baseball. Greg Bennett's diving catch versus Alabama. Junior Greg Bennett made a spectacular diving catch to end the third inning against Alabama. The award for female breakout performer of the year is presented by Sean Johnson, president of the MTSU National Alumni Association. There were several breakout performers nominated this year. These athletes have developed significantly during their time in the MTSU and had breakthrough performances this season. Here are the nominees for Female Breakout Performer of the Year. Female Breakout Performer of the Year. During her senior campaign, Dora Pionia became a leader on offense, finishing the season sixth in CUSA with 360 kills. She ranked fourth in program history in kills and third in service aces with 81. And she also led the team in kills on 15 occasions in 2019 and was named to the All-CUSA second team. Aside from being the Conference USA Female Individual Champion, Yusela Chepkame was named CUSA Cross Country Female Athlete of the Year and CUSA Female Athlete of the Week on October 8, 2019. She was named to the All-CUSA first team after leading Middle Tennessee to a conference title and had three podium finishes as a junior. Charity Savage broke out in a big way as a senior after averaging 5.7 minutes, 1.9 points, and 1.3 rebounds per game in her previous three seasons. Savage earned second team All-Conference USA and was one of three players in Conference USA to average a double-double with 10.9 points and 11.3 rebounds per game. Savage was one of the nation's top rebounders with double-figure boards in 21 games including 13-plus in 12 games. She ranked sixth nationally in total rebounds with 339 and totaled 12 double-doubles after entering the season with none. She ranked among the NCAA's top 40 in five categories and top 15 in three, as well as CUSA top 10 in eight categories. After competing in just one event with a 78.3 stroke average as a freshman, Madison Smith missed only one event as a sophomore and lowered her average by 2.6 strokes to 75.7. Good for third best on the team on the year. Female Breakout Performer of the Year. And the RCA for Female Breakout Performer goes to 
MTSU women's basketball star, Charity Savage. Charity Savage broke out in a big way as a senior after averaging 5.7 minutes, 1.9 points, and 1.3 rebounds per game in her previous three seasons. Savage earned second team All-Conference USA and was one of three players in Conference USA to average a double-double with 10.9 points and 11.3 rebounds per game. Savage was one of the nation's top rebounders with double-figure boards in 21 games, including 13-plus in 12 games. She ranked sixth nationally in total rebounds with 339 and totaled 12 double-doubles after entering the season with none. She ranked among the NCAA's top 40 in five categories and top 15 in three, as well as CUSA top 10 in eight categories. To present the male breakout performer of the year, please welcome Associate Athletic Director, Daryl Simpson. Becoming a breakout performer doesn't happen by accident. It takes hours of hard work during the off season and a dedication to bettering their skill set. All of you have put in the hard work this year, but these are the ones that stood out for their breakout. Male Breakout Performer of the Year. In his first year as the starter at QB, Asher O'Hara became the second player in school history to throw for over 2,500 yards and rush for more than 1,000 yards in the same season. His 1,058 rushing yards ranked third nationally among quarterbacks while his four 300-yard passing games equaled the third most in a season at Middle Tennessee. Hilary Solo returned from a medical redshirt to earn a tied for second finish at Squire Creek in his first competitive action in over a year. He went on to post the second best stroke average on the team in 2019-2020 with a 73.9. In his first season as a Blue Raider, DJ Wright hit 298 with a pair of home runs and a 406 on base percentage. Wright was a two way threat for the Raiders, picking up a win on the mound against Lipscomb and going four for five with a home run and two RBI in the game. The Murfreesboro native also slugged 439 with two doubles, two home runs, and 17 hits on the season. Tyson Jackson came into the men's basketball program expecting to be used as a reserve. But as an opportunity arose, he locked down a starting spot in 22 of 31 games and went on to earn Conference USA All-Freshman Team Honors in 2019-2020, averaging 5.3 points and 4.7 rebounds on the year while collecting a team-high 21 blocks. He was the first Blue Raider rookie with 20 or more blocks since Sean Jones did so in 2011 and is the first freshman to lead Middle Tennessee in blocks since 2004. Male Breakout Performer of the Year. And the RCA for the Male Breakout Performer of the Year is... Asher O'Hara. In his first year as the starter at QB, Asher O'Hara became the second player in school history to throw for over 2,500 yards and rush for more than 1,000 yards in the same season. His 1,058 rushing yards ranked third nationally among quarterbacks, while his four 300-yard passing games equaled the third most in a season at Middle Tennessee. Earlier tonight, we recognized the 3.0 GPAs for the 2019 calendar year. Now, let's take a look at those who achieved a 3.5 GPA.
How you guys doing out there? My name is Jaron Pierce, and I play football for Middle Tennessee State University. I'm a wide receiver, and one of the things I like to do in my spare time is I like to sing. It's kind of a little hidden talent of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and just sing y'all something. Hope y'all enjoy. Check me out. The very first time that I saw your brown eyes, your lips said hello, and I said hi. I knew right then you were the one. But I was caught up in physical attraction. But to my satisfaction, baby, you were more than just a face. Thank you, guys. Well, how about Jaron Pierce? Not only can he catch touchdowns, he can certainly catch a tune in a bucket. I can't do that. Well, how about you make a comment about Jaron's video? Use the hashtag RCA2020, whether you're on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook tonight. We'd love to see all your comments tonight, but use that hashtag. You know, it's time to find out our game of the year. Please welcome the president of the Blue Raider Athletic Association, Eric Clements. Many of you have had the opportunity to experience that special moment in your athletic careers. These special games are the ones that will still be talked about when you come back to campus to reminisce with your teammates. This year, Blue Raider fans had lots to choose from when they voted for Game of the Year. Game of the Year. Women's Basketball Overtime Thriller versus WKU. The Lady Raiders defeated rival WKU 108-103 in double overtime to end the Lady Hilltoppers' 10-game winning streak. It was the highest scoring game in Lady Raiders history and the first time two women's teams each topped 100 points at the Murphy Center. The 108 points are the fifth most in Conference USA history. Baseball versus Coastal Carolina. On March 7, 2020, the Blue Raiders struck for 10 runs on four home runs by four different hitters in the third inning against Coastal Carolina. The historic inning marked the first time that the Blue Raiders had scored 10 runs in an inning since May 10, 2009, and the first time Middle Tennessee had four home runs in an inning since April 20, 2005. Middle Tennessee finished with five home runs. Austin Cheeley closed the door on the Chancellors to give the Blue Raiders a 12-5 win just a day after his father died. Men's Cross Country at CUSA Championship. The Blue Raiders dominated the CUSA Championship by placing four runners in the top 10, including champion Jacob Chogi, his third individual conference title in cross country. Men's Golf winning CUSA Championship. After taking second place in stroke play at the CUSA Championships, the Blue Raiders came from behind to beat Charlotte in the match play semis before another comeback performance in the finals in which sophomore Cooper Sears sank a 10-foot putt on the 24th hole to clinch the 3-2 win against top seed UTSA to secure a second consecutive Conference USA title. Soccer versus UAB. The Blue Raiders did not disappoint in their final home match of the season, defeating conference rival UAB 4-2 to cement the Blue Raiders' spot in the conference tournament. Junior forward Peyton DePriest continued a strong career by putting away two goals and breaking the Middle Tennessee record for career goals scored with 40. Men's Tennis winning CUSA Championship. The men's tennis team captured the first Conference USA Championship and the first league title overall since 2012 in dramatic fashion. After Tom Moonen won a tiebreaker to even the score at three, all eyes at Middle Tennessee's Adams Tennis Complex were on freshman Pavel Modal in a winner-take-all match for the title. After dropping the first set, he came back to break serve and take a 6-5 lead in the deciding set, going on to secure a victory. Women's Tennis versus East Tennessee. Trailing 3-1, the Middle Tennessee women's tennis team stormed back to stun East Tennessee 4-3. Freshman Noel Morrow won a three-set thriller to start the rally before a pair of seniors brought it home. Lydia Burroughs saved three match points to even the match, and Marta Paris Herrero capped the comeback with a three-set victory. 
Game of the Year. As voted on by the fans, the 2020 Raiders Choice Award for Game Event of the Year goes to the men's golf team. Men's golf winning CUSA championship. After taking second place in stroke play at the CUSA championships, the Blue Raiders came from behind to beat Charlotte in the match play semis before another comeback performance in the finals in which sophomore Cooper Sears sank a 10-foot putt on the 24th hole to clinch the 3-2 win against top seed UTSA to secure a second consecutive Conference USA title. You know, one of the responsibilities of all of our student athletes is to give back to the community that gives so much to us. You know, the Our Town, Our Team concept, that's what we're talking about here. To present the Director's Cup for 2020, please welcome the Director of Athletics at Middle Tennessee, Chris Massaro. Good evening, everybody. It is my pleasure to present the award for community service. All of our teams and all of our athletes do a great job in this area, and I thank you guys for your participation with Special Olympics, reading with the Raiders, uh, trips to local hospitals, putting on clinics for children, everything that you guys do it's really a great effort and it's, we're part of this town and i appreciate you being our town our team type mentality but however there can only be one award winner and this award goes to a team that did 323 hours of community service and that's a lot with a small squad size congratulations to our award winner this year the 2020 blue raiders choice award goes to men's tennis Congratulations, guys. You know, the heartbeat of any campus is its student bodies, and that's no different here at Middle Tennessee. And we can't wait for all of you to get back here to Murfreesboro, the heart of Middle Tennessee. To recognize some very special students here on our campus, please welcome Vice President of Marketing and Communications, Mr. Andrew Ottman. This year marked the return of the Blue Zoo, a group of students who worked to build true blue spirit at our home football games and other athletic events. This revival of the Blue Zoo laid the foundation from which we will build even greater student involvement and excitement for our Blue Raiders. Tonight, the university wants to thank those who held the Blue Zoo banner high, rain or shine, and they set the bar for future engagement by our students. Four students played a pivotal role in bringing back the Blue Zoo, and the university wishes to recognize them and thank them for their devotion and hard work. Senior, Michaela Griffin, who served as the secretary. Junior, Emily Ottman, who served as treasurer. Junior, Nate Paris, who served as vice president. And a special thanks to senior, Kobe Herman, the president who brought back the Blue Zoo got it registered and recognized as a student organization and ensured it will carry on next year. If we were in person tonight, we'd be putting special medallions around their necks, and I'm sorry that COVID-19 spoiled that moment. But this virus does not diminish the gratitude we have for all of you. Again, to Kobe and your team of officers and all the members of the Blue Zoo, thank you. Thank you very much for this recognition. I relaunched the Blue Zoo to create an environment where everyone feels welcome to cheer on the Blue Raiders. It doesn't matter who you are, everyone in the Blue Zoo supports each other, whether it be on the field, in the classrooms, or simply as human beings. None of this could have been possible without the help of some amazing faculty, staff, community members, and students. Most importantly, my executive officers, including Vice President Nate Paris, Secretary Michaela Griffin, Treasurer Emily Ottman, and Faculty Advisor Dr. Don Roy. To keep this short, a big thank you to the entire student body. We made this organization for you and you'll carry it on for generations to come. Go Blue Raiders. Thanks, Kobe. You're gonna leave big shoes to fill as president of the Blue Zoo. But I wanna put the challenge out right now. All of our Blue Zoo members, all of our student body, our MTSU community, Murfreesboro, Rutherford County, the whole mid-state, and our entire Blue Raider nation. We want you here for the home opener on September 12th. The Indiana State Sycamores will be coming to town, and you know, it'll be a rematch of a game that was played, gosh, what, 36 years ago? One of the greatest of all time in Blue Raider history when Middle went to Terre Haute and won in triple overtime. But coming in September, the Sycamores 
will be at our house and we want you there. You know, each of our student athletes works hard individually and collectively to contribute to their overall team success and to win the highest team GPA award. You know, to do that, the team has to really do the work in the classroom. And we're lucky to have coaches and administrators that are here to create the culture that our student athletes need to carry that out. To make our presentations, please welcome from Ascend Federal Credit Union, our presenting sponsor tonight, the Executive Vice President, Matt Jernigan. Hi, I am Matt Jernigan, Executive Vice President for Ascend Federal Credit Union. Our student athletes work hard individually and cooperatively to contribute to their team's overall success. To win the highest team GPA award, the team has to really do the work in the classroom. We're lucky to have coaches here who create that culture and student athletes who carry it out. Both of these teams are role models in the classroom. Our winning team from the spring 2019 semester is the women's tennis team coached by Bailey Duvall. They posted a team GPA of 3.9. For the fall 2019 semester, the winning team of the highest GPA is the men's tennis team led by Coach Borendame. They posted a team GPA of 3.8. Congratulations to both of these teams for their hard work in the classroom. The Blue Raider Nation has been called upon and they have spoken. Their votes for performance of the year are in. And to make that presentation, please welcome Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Medicine, Drew Shea. It's a special night when a player has risen to the challenge and puts together an incredible performance. It is fun to watch. There are many great performances this year, and the one of these will soon be named Performance of the Year. Performance of the Year. Javante Moffitt versus Marshall. Javante Moffitt led the Blue Raiders to a win over CUSA East Division favorites Marshall by collecting a personal best 13 solo tackles, 14 total, and two interceptions. He also snuffed out a fake field goal in the fourth quarter to thwart a herd score. Jacob Williams versus Coastal Carolina. Freshman Jacob Williams went four for four with two home runs and five RBI in game one at Coastal Carolina. It was the first multi-hit game as a Blue Raider for the freshman. Caroline Cottle at the Cardinal Cup. Junior Caroline Cottle completed an amazing four-hole stretch of birdie, birdie, hole-in-one, birdie on the final four holes of the Cardinal Cup to finish with a five under par 67, the low round of the year for the Blue Raiders and seventh best round in Middle Tennessee history. Wright versus Lipscomb. D.J. Wright went four for five with a home run and picked up the win on the mound in a big home win for the Blue Raiders against in-state foe Lipscomb. It was Wright's first appearance on the bump for Middle Tennessee and his first win. Chogi at CUSA Indoor Championship. Jacob Chogi won gold or silver in all four events he competed in at the CUSA Championships. He won the mile and the 5,000 meters and finished second in both the 800 and 3,000 meters. Chogi at CUSA Cross Country Championships. Jacob Chogi won the CUSA Men's Cross Country Championship for the third time, posting a time of 23.52.1 in the 8K. Chogi also won the CUSA Outstanding Senior Award. Chip Kame at CUSA Cross Country Championship. While leading her team to a conference title, Yusa Lechepkame won the CUSA Cross Country Women's Individual Championship, which she completed the 5K race in 1655.88, four seconds off her personal best. Charity Savage on Senior Night versus North Texas. Charity Savage's Senior Night performance against North Texas was one of the best in Conference USA history. Savage ripped down 25 rebounds in the Lady Raider win, which ranks third most in conference history and the most against a Division I opponent during the 2019-20 season. The 25 rebounds were also third in Lady Raider single game history. Hayes versus WKU. Anastasia Hayes poured in a career high 37 points and grabbed 11 rebounds to lead the Lady Raiders to a 108-103 double overtime win against rival WKU. Hayes' 37 points were the second most in a Conference USA game 
and most against a conference foe this season, earning her Conference USA Player of the Week and College Sports Madness High Major National Player of the Week. Bonham versus UTSA. Freshman Mackenzie Bonham in her first career start tallied a hat trick against UTSA in Middle Tennessee's conference opener. The hat trick propelled the Blue Raiders to an overtime victory 4-3. Rodriguez versus Nichols State. Lonnie Rodriguez slugged her first two career home runs in a three for three performance against Nichols State on February 15th. Rodriguez totaled four RBI and three runs scored on the afternoon. She also drew a walk and stole a base in the 11-2 win. Lawrence versus UTSA. Eli Lawrence poured in a career high 27 points in just 23 minutes off the bench at UTSA to help the Blue Raiders win a high scoring thriller against the Roadrunners. The freshman went seven for nine from three point range and nine for 12 from the field while collecting six rebounds, three steals, one block and one assist. Performance of the year. The RCA for Performance of the Year was a fan favorite, and the winner of this year's award goes to Caroline Cottle from the Blue Raiders women's golf team. Caroline Cottle at the Cardinal Cup. Junior Caroline Cottle completed an amazing four-hole stretch of birdie, birdie, hole-in-one, birdie on the final four holes of the Cardinal Cup to finish with a five under par 67, the low round of the year for the Blue Raiders and seventh best round in Middle Tennessee history. You know, one of the really special moments in every Raiders Choice Awards show is the Making a Difference Award. Last year, for instance, Dr. Tom Johns, who had recently passed away and had been part of our program for 40 years, was given the honor. His family was there to accept it. but. You know, 2020 is a, is a different kind of year, and there's not just one person who's out there that's, that's made a huge difference. So this year, we're letting our student athletes chime in, and we're gonna hear from them who's made a difference in their life since the world changed in March of 2020. Just wanna give a big shout out to Miss Carol during all this time with the uh, transition from all our classes and everything with this quarantine. Uh, I wanna be able to stay on top of all my work and get my grades turned around if it wasn't for her. Just wanna say thank you for all you've done for uh, everyone, Miss Carol, and uh, continue to be great. One staff member that I'm very thankful for um, in MTSU's soccer program is Allison Ness, our athletic trainer. Allison sees the worst side of us a lot and has to go through a ton of emotions with us because nobody likes to be injured and that can always be really hard. So she has to deal with a lot, not only physically, but also emotionally, and it can be a very stressful job. But Allison always gives her best for us and she cares about us a lot. And you can see that even in the way that she celebrates goals with us, celebrates wins with us, and just, um, how much she truly invests into our team, not just time and her skills, but also her heart. And so I'm just so thankful to have had an athletic trainer like her and to be able to have learned from her and gone through so many things and memories with her. So uh, MTSU soccer would not be the same without her. And we're so thankful for all that you do, Allison. Thank you. Hey, Blue Raider Nation. Uh, this is Brian Coffey. I uh, hope everybody's staying safe out there. And uh, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Miss Counts and uh, just give her a huge thanks for all that she's done during this pandemic. Uh, she's been real helpful and adamant on uh, keeping us on top of our work, uh, looking up classes for us for next semester, you know, and uh, she's been a real big help to my team and I'm sure the rest of the athletic program. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Ms. Counts. Thank you for all you do. All right, peace. Hi guys, this is Emma Griefer with MT Volleyball. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Dr. Caputo. She was one of my ADM professors and honestly just the best way to start my day, so thank you. In these tough times, I'm really thankful for Coach Ricky that helped me a lot throughout this year, both mentally, tactically, technically. I feel like he, he helped me a lot and I'm really thankful for that. Hi, I'm Summer Burgess from MT Softball. And I'd like to thank Coach Bradford for not only keeping us in physical shape during this quarantine, but for also teaching us the importance of mental conditioning and how keeping a routine will help us stay motivated during this time. Hello, Blue Raider family. This is Brighton Chamade. I want to take this opportunity to thank all star members, students, and coaches for their support through these difficult times. 
Thank you. Hello, Blue Raider Nation. This is Kyle Stribling, and a person who's made a difference during this time has been Keith Bunch, my athletic trainer. You know, coming off of surgery, he's made sure that I've been on track of my rehab and uh, gave me all the resources that I need to do my exercises at home. And I just wanted to take this time to show my appreciation towards him. Hey, my name is Lee Barnard and I'm from the MTSU women's tennis team here at MTSU. And the person that inspires me the most for my time being here is our head coach, Coach Teo. The reason why she inspires me so much is because I know it's hard these days to be a women's head coach. And this is a message for her. Teo, thank you for everything you do for our team. I want to thank Patricia Scott for helping me during this quarantine and even before. Thank you for always being there for me, being very resourceful for anything that I needed help with. You always found and made a way for me. Also, thank you for being a great fan of mine, cheering me on in my games. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lebohan Toby Lemosito. I go by Toby. I would like to appreciate all the professors and thank them for the hard work they've been putting into transitioning uh, to online classes. And I will personally, I would like to appreciate Dr. Mackenzie for the hard work she's been putting, even though after experiencing uh, the tornado, she always replies to our emails. She always is there for us as a class and she always posts her notes and make sure that we understand the materials, even during this time of uh, this epidemic. Thank you. You know, the last year is going to be remembered for a lot of things. We're going to see highlights of the 2019-2020 school year, but one way to look back at it is with some bad lip reading. Oh, you got a little something right there. What is it? Why do you hate me? I never said that. Why would you think that? Because we never hang out. I got it. Look, you do this, and then you just move your head back and forth. I started, I'm living. Uh -huh. Try to tell you ain't listening. Uh -huh. I rap hard. I'm in the backyard playing basketball with Blake Griffin. All you gotta do is... Walk away! Oh! Oh, kill him! Oh, kill him! Oh! Look at all those chickens! I'm gonna chop home Chip away is my life! We're too famous, I can't go here anymore. LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Oh, my man. The avocado. Welcome to Just Give Me a Get to Del Taco. They got a new thing called Frisia. <laughs> Free Shavaka do. Don't drop that duck a duck. Hey, don't drop that duck a duck. Oh, he needs God. some milk. My, my name is Trey. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Well, I'm a point guard. I got a shoe game. And Folks, stick with us. We're getting down to the final few awards of the night, and I hope you're using your social media tonight using the hashtag RCA2020, whether it's the pictures of your viewing party, how you're dressed up, your congratulations to the winners, or even your acceptance speech. We want to see it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook, but use that hashtag RCA2020. For the first of our final awards of the night, please welcome General Keith Huber, Senior Advisor for Veterans and Leadership Initiatives. The Female Athlete of the Year is a highly prestigious award. It is presented to a female athlete who's focused on ensuring the success of her team, who has demonstrated daily leadership and the willingness to sacrifice, and who respects the game. This is an athlete that stands out amongst her peers. I think you will see amongst this year's nominees these qualities in each of our young ladies. Female Athlete of the Year. Despite missing three full games and a good chunk of another due to injury, Peyton DePriest still ended up netting a career-high 18 goals in 2019, sixth most in the NCAA. DePriest also broke the Blue Raiders' career goals record with 42, previously held by Holly Grogan with 38 from 2004 to 2007. 
The junior also led the conference in multiple offensive categories, including points per game, goals, and goals per game, and she was second in game-winning goals with five. Bree Tangusley played and started all 117 sets in 2019 as the Blue Raiders libero. She ranked sixth in the CUSA with her team leading 426 digs, and she reached the 1,000 career digs mark against UT Martin. She ranks third in program history during the 25-point rally scoring era with 1,138 total digs, and she finished second on the team in both service aces and assists in 2019. Yusula Chepkame was the individual female champion at the CUSA Championships. She was named CUSA Cross Country Female Athlete of the Year and all CUSA First Team. She led her team to a conference title and had three podium finishes on the season. Murfreesboro native Anastasia Hayes burst onto the scene in a big way, earning CUSA Newcomer of the Year and landing a spot on the all conference first team. She scored 20 plus points in 10 games and was in double figures 28 times. The sophomore guard produced the second triple-double in program history, the first by a guard at Marshall. She posted the two highest scoring games in CUSA league play this season, with 37 against WKU and 34 at North Texas. She ranked among the top 50 in the NCAA and top 10 in CUSA in five statistical categories. Adding on to an already historic career during the shortened 2020 season, Lexi Cushing's fourth campaign in Murfreesboro ended with a 364 batting average, 779 slugging percentage, and 479 on base percentage. She finished with a team high 10 home runs and was second with 19 RBI. Her 174 putouts were the second most in CUSA, and her 994 fielding percentage was the best of any regularly started Middle Tennessee infielder. Already Middle Tennessee's all-time home runs leader, Cushing became Middle Tennessee's all-time leader in RBI on March 7th with a two-run homer at WKU. She also moved into the top five in five other career statistical categories. In just her seventh year of competitive golf, junior Sophie Burks led the Blue Raiders in stroke average, top five finishes, top 10 finishes, and low 54 hole total in 2019-2020. After dropping her first two dual singles matches, Lydia Burroughs won a team best 11 straight matches to end the season. She had an undefeated record in matches ending in the third set. Even with her senior season cut short, she etched herself into the Blue Raider history books, ranking number four all time in singles wins with 74. Female Athlete of the Year. What a great group of female athletes. In fact, this group is so good that this year we've selected two winners. The Raider Choice Award for the 2020 Female Athlete of the Year goes to Yusila Kepkimai of Cross Country and Anastasia Hayes of Basketball. Congratulations, ladies. Yusila Chepkame was the individual female champion at the CUSA Championships. She was named CUSA Cross Country Female Athlete of the Year and all CUSA First Team. She led her team to a conference title and had three podium finishes on the season. Murfreesboro native Anastasia Hayes burst onto the scene in a big way, earning CUSA Newcomer of the Year and landing a spot on the all-conference first team. She scored 20 plus points in 10 games and was in double figures 28 times. The sophomore guard produced the second triple-double in program history, the first by a guard at Marshall. She posted the two highest scoring games in CUSA league play this season with 37 against WKU and 34 at North Texas. She ranked among the top 50 in the NCAA and top 10 in CUSA in five statistical categories. Congratulations to both of our Female Athlete of the Year Award winners. You know, our next presenter 
was affected in a major way by the shutdown of NCAA championship events this year. Diane Turnham, Senior Associate Athletic Director and Senior Women's Administrator, was also the chair of the NCAA Women's Basketball Committee. She and her committee never got to pick a field for this year's tournament. It's something that they'll always remember, a year that was certainly strange for all of us. But tonight, she's here to present the Male Athlete of the Year. Good evening. The Male Athlete of the Year Award is the highest honor for athletic accomplishments for a male Blue Raider student athlete. The Male Athlete of the Year will embody all of the qualities that General Huber just mentioned in our female category. He respects the sport. He is a respected leader. He's a great teammate, and he stands out among his peers. The nominees for this prestigious honor are... Male Athlete of the Year. The 2019 Conference USA Male Track Athlete of the Year. Keegan Shimani ran in eight events during the 2019 outdoor season, including the NCAA Outdoor Championships, and ranked as high as third in the country. He ran a personal best 838.28 in the NCAA East Prelims in the 3,000-meter steeplechase and had a personal best 5,000-meter time of 1336.84 at the Raleigh Relays. Jacob Chogi continued possibly the best running career in Middle Tennessee history with his third CUSA Male Cross Country Athlete of the Year Award after claiming the individual champion spot at the CUSA Championships and leading his team to a conference title. He also won the CUSA Outstanding Senior Award. He finished third overall at the NCAA South Regional, leading his team to a second place finish to qualify for the NCAA Championships. In the indoor track and field season, Chogi was named to the All CUSA First Team after placing first in the one mile and 5,000 meters at the CUSA Championships and second team after placing second in both the 800 meter and 3,000 meter. He was also named Male Track Performer of the Meet and Male High Scorer of the Meet at the Championships and set a new meet record in the 5,000. He broke the Middle Tennessee program record in the 5,000 and ranked 10th in the nation, qualifying for the NCAA Championships. Javante Moffitt led the Blue Raiders in tackles for the second time in his career with 98, while also pacing the team in interceptions with a career best of three. He ended his career ranked fifth all-time in program history in tackles with 313, while also setting the game's played record with 55. Nathan Sanders started all 17 games in center field for the Blue Raiders and led the team with eight RBI. 21 hits and 13 runs. The Smyrna native's first hit as a Blue Raider was a two-run home run against a ranked North Carolina team in the season opener. Sanders also stole three bases and slugged 477 with two doubles and a triple. Senior Tanner Owens led the team in stroke average at 71.8. Rounds of par or better with 12. Top five finishes with two. Top 10 finishes with three and low round with a 68. He is just the fourth Blue Raider ever to record an under par stroke average for a single season. Tom Moonen has been one of the top players all time in program history, and he entered his name among the Blue Raider greats in his senior year with 142 combined wins in his career, moving him into the top 10 at Middle Tennessee. Moonen played in the number one single spot and was part of the number one doubles team as a senior. He posted seven wins at number one, and five of the foes he faced in singles were nationally ranked. C.J. Jones burst onto the scene in his first season on the Murphy Center floor, pouring in 16.1 points per game on 43% shooting from the field and 40% shooting from three-point range. The sweet shooting junior also hit 87% of his attempts from the charity stripe and entered the program's top six all time in single season three-pointers made. Male Athlete of the Year. All of these nominees had a phenomenal year, but one rose to the top. The recipient is very special to our university and to our community. Our 
2020 Male Athlete of the Year Award winner is Mr. Jacob Chogi, Men's Cross Country and Track. Congratulations. Jacob Chogi continued possibly the best running career in Middle Tennessee history with his third CUSA Male Cross Country Athlete of the Year Award after claiming the individual champion spot at the CUSA Championships and leading his team to a conference title. He also won the CUSA Outstanding Senior Award. He finished third overall at the NCAA South Regional, leading his team to a second place finish to qualify for the NCAA Championships. In the indoor track and field season, Chogi was named to the All CUSA First Team after placing first in the one mile and 5,000 meters at the CUSA Championships and second team after placing second in both the 800 meter and 3,000 meter. He was also named Male Track Performer of the Meet and Male High Scorer of the Meet at the Championships and set a new meet record in the 5,000. He broke the Middle Tennessee program record in the 5,000 and ranked 10th in the nation, qualifying for the NCAA Championships. Earlier tonight, we honored our student athletes who have achieved a 3.0 in the classroom and a 3.5 in the classroom. Now, we're gonna recognize perfection. Those student athletes who achieved a 4.0 during the 2019 calendar year. Here are your spring 2019 4.0 student athletes. From baseball, Buddy Fultz, Tyler Holcomb, JT Mabry. From women's basketball, Katie Collier, Jess Lauro, Taylor Sutton, Alexis Whittington. From football, Peyton Burke, Javante Moffitt, Daniel Sargent. From men's golf, James Beckner. From women's golf, Sophie Burks, Jenna Burris, Hanley Long, Savannah Quick. From soccer, Carolyn Engelhard, Taylor Hatch, Caitlin Traver. From softball, Lexi Cushing. From men's tennis, Gonzalo Morel Rachiator, Luis Morel Diaz, Sean Presson. From women's tennis, Lee Barnard, Zanny Barnard, Costanza Magazzini. From volleyball, Bailey Mason, Sarah Sumita. Now here are your fall 2019 4.0 student athletes. From baseball, Adam Link, Sheldon Pauk, Nathan Sanders. From football, Kylan Stribling, Aaron Muhammad Ali, Matthew Rigney, Matthew Stevenson. From men's golf, Matthias Vargin. From men's track and cross country, Benjamin Anya Coelho, Jacob Patton, Jaquez Torian. From soccer, Amber Hoot, Campbell Cavisto, Caroline Manley. From softball, Kelsey Hill, Mia Maranakis. From volleyball, Taylor Hamill. From women's basketball, Alex Johnson. From women's tennis, Marta Paris Herrero, Noel Morrow. From women's track and cross country, Akira Benton. These student athletes achieved the remarkable task of receiving a 4.0 GPA in both the spring and fall semesters in 2019. From track and field, Alan Bowers. From women's basketball, Amanda Whittington. From volleyball, Bree Tanksley. From volleyball, Samira Lawson Body. From football, Daniel Delfindahl. From baseball, David Zaz. From baseball, Josh Young. From baseball, Zach Pearson. From men's tennis, Francisco Roca. From men's tennis, Max Rausch. From soccer, Peyton DePriest. And from men's golf, Tanner Owens. Congratulations to all of our academic champions. You know, 
we have given out a lot of awards tonight, and it leads to this. The two biggest awards of the night, our True Blue President's Award presented by Dr. Sidney McPhee. He's now in his 20th year as president at Middle Tennessee State University, and he's provided unwavering leadership through some unbelievable challenges over the last couple of months. You know, for that and his support of Blue Raider Athletics, we give him a big, big thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Middle Tennessee State University, Dr. Sidney A. McPhee. This year, we have a number of exceptional nominees and these awards take everything into account. Athletic success, academic success, community service, and all those intangibles that embody the true blue spirit. Here are the nominees for the Female True Blue Presidents Award. True Blue Presidents Award. Peyton DePriest added to her soccer pedigree with another strong campaign during her junior season, while continuing to shine in the classroom as well. The stellar performer had a 3.9 GPA in exercise science while blasting a career-high 18 goals. She became Middle Tennessee's career goals leader with 42, and she led the CUSA in points per game, goals, and goals per game, and was second in game-winning goals with five. The well-rounded DePriest is involved in many community service projects, including Special Olympics and youth soccer. Charity Savage balanced athletics and a tough class load as a biochemistry major. She was named a Conference USA Spirit of Service Award winner. Charity was one of the nation's top rebounders and among Conference USA leaders for rebounds, steals, and field goal percentage. She ranked among the NCAA Top 40 in five categories and ranked among Conference USA's top 10 in eight. Savage ended her career with 12 double-doubles and 15 double-figure scoring games. Middle Tennessee softball's power hitter Lexi Cushing posted a 3.792 cumulative GPA in business administration. Cushing is the program's all-time leader in home runs and RBI and moved into the top five in five other career stat categories during the 2020 season. She was one of Conference USA's best defensive players and had the best batting average, slugging percentage, and on-base percentage of any Blue Raider that started all 28 games in the spring. Taylor Hamill posted a strong 3.7 grade point average in mechanical engineering and was honored by Conference USA as a member of the Volleyball All-Academic Team and Spirit of Service honoree. She was the CUSA Setter of the Week November 4th Taylor recorded her 2,000th career assist during her senior campaign and capped her career with 2,479 total assists. She ranked as high as 17th nationally for assists in 2019. Sophie Burks boasted a 3.819 GPA in exercise science and was the top performer for the women's golf team. In just her seventh year of competitive golf, after starting her career on the links as a freshman in high school, Burks led the Blue Raiders this season with a 73.4 stroke average. She also logged team highs in top five finishes, top 10 finishes, and low 54 hole total on the season. A strong all around student athlete, Amber Hoot posted a 3.97 grade point average as a biochemistry major, while also serving her community in an array of areas and being one of the top players on the soccer pitch. Amber was named to the Conference USA All Academic Soccer Team she ended her senior season with eight points and proved to be an invaluable contributor. True Blue President's Award. I'm proud to announce our 2020 True Blue Female President's Award winner, a three-year standout from our women's soccer team with a 3.9 GPA and she became an all-time leader in goals scored this season, Ms. Peyton DePriest. I'm so honored to accept this award, and I'm so thankful for everyone that's helped me in the past few years. I certainly wouldn't be able to accept this award without my, the help of my teammates, coaches, academic advisors, trainers, and my parents. Um, I can't wait to get back for one more year and have a great season. Go Blue Raiders. Our male nominees are just as remarkable. Let's meet 
our True Blue President's Award nominees in the male category. The True Blue President's Award. One of the best players in Middle Tennessee's strong tennis history. Tom Moonen put together a smashing senior season to cap a strong career. Moonen ranks in the top 10 in career victories among Blue Raiders and helped lead Middle Tennessee to its first Conference USA Championship last spring. Community service is also a high priority for Moonen, who spends time throughout the year working with youth tennis. And he's also strong in the classroom with a 3.9 grade point average in accounting. Senior Tanner Owens not only dazzled on the golf course, but also in the classroom. Owens sports a 3.9 GPA in healthcare administration, and he helped lead the Blue Raiders to the CUSA Men's Golf Championship last spring by being the only player undefeated in match play. One of the top amateur golfers nationally, Owens led the Blue Raiders in stroke average, rounds of par or better, top five finishes, top 10 finishes, and low round. He is just the fourth Blue Raider ever to record an under par stroke average for a season. When he's not focused on his studies or his golf game, Owens gives back to his community by working with youth golf clubs. Brian Rono balanced academics and athletics in a big way as part of the Conference USA Men's Cross Country Championships while also sporting a 3.78 grade point average in engineering technology. Brian was named All-Conference USA in the 800 meter and one mile run for his work during the indoor season. And he was a member of the nationally ranked CUSA Cross Country Championship team in the fall. Kylan Stribling turned in a career year on the gridiron while also producing a 3.79 grade point average in business administration. On the field, Stribling turned in a career-high 41 tackles, including a tackle for loss, an interception, and four pass breakups. His best performance was a 14-tackle effort for the pass breakup in a win against Rice. The True Blue President's Award. We had so many exceptional candidates that we chose two winners in this category. A top 10 MTSU record holder for wins. He is 3.9 student in accounting and a member of Conference USA Championship Tennis Team. It is my pleasure to present the first Male True Blue President's Award to Mr. Tom Moonen. Hey guys, Tom here. Uh, first of all, I hope everyone's doing okay and staying safe at home. Uh, I know it's a super tough situation, but we're all in this together. Um, then secondly, obviously, super honored to be receiving the True Blue President's Award. Um, I would like to thank the entire Blue Raider family, but a couple people in particular. Um, President McPhee and the First Lady, thank you for taking such good care of the school and letting your students thrive and allow us to develop into people we are today. Um, I would like to thank our athletic director, Chris Massaro, um, and of course the coaching staff, Coach Jimmy, Ricky, Coach John, and our trainer, Drew Shea. Honestly, I wouldn't be the same person I am today without the four of you, so really thank, thanks a lot. Um, then I would like to th thank Shelby and our media team for doing the awesome promotions. Um, our uh, managers, Thomas, Emily, and Shelby, thank you for always helping us out. Um, I, would think, I would like to thank the entire Murfreesboro tennis community for your awesome support during our matches. And then last but not least, obviously my teammates. Um, I know I can count on you guys, and I know you guys will always have my back. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. Our second award winner is one of the top performers in program history, a 3.9 student in healthcare administration and a member of Conference USA golf team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present the True Blue President's Award to Mr. Tanner Owens. Hey guys, I hope everyone is staying safe. I'm very honored this year to be receiving the President's Award. I want to start off by saying thank you to President McPhee for his continued support of athletics as well as academics. I then want to thank Chris Massaro for providing the platform for all of us to fulfill our dreams at a D1 level. I then want to thank all of my teammates for all their support and for pushing me to become better each and every day. And finally, I want to thank Coach McIntyre for all of his support and allowing me to become the golfer I am today. 
I'm very excited to be back one more year at this great university. Go Blue. Congratulations to both of our winners. You know, again, it's been a different show this year because we're without you in person. And we're also without one of our partners that has helped put this show on for the last several years. Bethany Boyles and her husband, Tyler, have moved to Indianapolis, but we want to congratulate them on their future. And we also want to congratulate them on a brand new addition to their family. So please welcome the newest addition to the Blue Raider family, Emma Dawson Boyles. She checked into the Blue Raider lineup during the middle of last week. Also, it's good to know that she, mom, and dad are all doing very well. Wow, what an amazing night it's been. We certainly want to thank all of our nominees and congratulate all of our winners tonight. So make sure you use that hashtag RCA2020. Put your congratulations, your acceptance speeches all up on social media. So give them that recognition that they deserve on social media this evening, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, or even a TikTok video. We'll accept that as well. You know, we've had a lot of messages from a lot of people tonight. And as we wind up our show, we do have one final message from our president, Dr. Sidney McPhee. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our student athletes, our coaches, our athletic administrative staff, and our university employees for the tremendous work that they have done this past year in moving this university forward academically and athletically. Please stay safe and be healthy with your family. Thank you. Thanks for those words, Dr. McPhee. We really appreciate it. You know, it's time to end the show now. And one of the highlights of every Raiders Choice Awards, well, it's the highlights of the last school year. And we've got them for you here in just a few seconds. So just hang on with me for just a minute. You know, as we end tonight, I want to say something to our student athletes. And it's the same thing that I said at the beginning of the show. Tonight is your night. And as you get ready to come back to campus, remember these three things no matter where you go and whatever you do. Be loud, be proud, and be blue. We can't not wait to see you back on the MTSU campus. For that, we say good night for the Raiders Choice Awards and enjoy the highlights. Yeah!